Good morning. Today is Cooking Friday. We are going to read the last book I have on butterflies. It's called Born to be a Butterfly by Karen Wallace. Then we're going to do Animal Action Part 2. So we've done Animal Action Part 1 and we're going to do Part 2. So we'll do this and then we'll move into the kitchen and we are going to make cucumber cream cheese snacks which are really yummy. Born to be a Butterfly. A butterfly flits from flower to flower. Her red striped wings shine in the sun. She touches the petals with her feet and her feelers. So her feelers are the antennae. She looks for a leaf where she can lay her eggs. A butterfly flits from leaf to leaf. On each little leaf, she lays one or two eggs. She squeezes the eggs out of her body. The outside of each egg is covered with a shell. A caterpillar grows inside each egg. Soon one is ready to hatch. She bites through the shell with her strong, sharp jaws. She munches the leaves around her. There's a caterpillar. The caterpillar makes a tent from a leaf. She hides from the birds who are sharp-eyed and hungry. Hundreds of caterpillars hatch alongside her. Some are unlucky. Hungry birds peck them. Furry bats snatch them. Spiders catch them. The caterpillar is hungry. She needs to grow, so she crawls from her leaf tent. She climbs up strong stems and clings to young leaves. The caterpillar munches and crunches all the leaves she can. Munch, crunch. The caterpillar munches and crunches. She gets bigger and bigger. Her black and yellow skin gets tighter and tighter. Suddenly, the skin starts to split open. The caterpillar wriggles out with a brand new skin. The caterpillar grows quickly. She sheds her skin four times before she is fully grown. She looks for a leaf that is sturdy and strong. She hangs upside down. The caterpillar is changing into a chrysalis. Outside, her skin turns hard to keep her safe. Inside, something amazing is happening. Then one day, the chrysalis splits open. Something crawls out into the sunshine. It has a head and six legs. It has wings and a body. What can it be? A brand new butterfly rests in the sunshine. She is too wet to fly. She holds out her wings to help them dry faster. The butterfly flits from flower to flower. She sucks up the sweet nectar with her long, hollow tongue. When she's not eating, her tongue is curled like a spring. If you can see close, that's her tongue right there. Sometimes she rests her wings held together. She looks brown as the tree bark so hungry birds can't see her. She's camouflaged. Now it is time to look for a mate. She finds him sitting on a leaf. They dance in the sunshine and fly off together. The butterfly flits from flower to flower. Her red striped wings shine in the sun. She looks for a leaf where she can lay her eggs. Soon a hundred more butterflies will fly in the sun. The end. All right, let's put animal action on. Part two.
So let's head to the kitchen and we're going to make those cucumber cream. Hello, we have headed into the kitchen to make our cucumber cream cheese snacks. So there was only four ingredients that you need for this. A cucumber, these little um, Italian salad dressing recipe mix. It comes in a box that looks like this. Cream cheese, a little bowl, and any type of white bread will do. So first step is you are going to cut the cucumber in tiny slices. So parents, if you cut it like that much thick, that should be fine. Or if you like them thinner, that's totally fine too, or thicker. So we don't need to cut all of it because this amount will do. So I'm going to leave that off to the side. Then you're going to grab a slice of your white bread. You're going to lay it flat and then using a circle. So you can use a tiny cup with a circle. I guess we could use a, I'm going to use a smaller circle. Let's see if I could, perfect. So something like this, perfect size. You're going to press it down and push. So it's kind of like a cookie cutter. So then when you take it off, it's gonna have a nice circle. So you could probably get two out of each pieces of bread, but you probably, if you wanna get more out of a piece of bread, pick a smaller circle. But this is the closest I could get to a small, decent size. Then you're gonna grab another piece of bread and do the same thing. So push down, swivel, get your circle, put it in a pile. So keep repeating as much as you want. Move the scraps off to the side. Now that we have our bread pieces and our cucumber, we're gonna do the mixture. So grab your little bowl, move the cutting board off to the side. First, you're gonna open up your cream cheese So I'll probably use about half. I'm gonna put that in there. And you're gonna open the recipe, the salad dressing mix. And you do not have to use it all, so just pour as much as you think you want. So that's what it looks like on top. And then you're gonna grab a spoon and you're gonna start mashing it so it mixes. And you'll be able to tell if you need to add more recipe mix. 
or more cream cheese. And the more you squish it, the more it will become softer. I'm going to add a little bit more. And once you have it mixed, you're going to grab your piece of bread, put it flat on your cutting board, and then with the spoon, you're going to grab a piece, you're going to spread it like that, and then you're going to take a little cucumber piece and put it right on top. And then you can move on to the next one. So it's going to look like this, a layer of bread cream cheese in that Italian dressing mix, and a cucumber. So push it off the side, grab another circle. You might need to work the cream cheese a little bit more. Mine's pretty hard to spread, and then the bread will kind of rip. Grab a cucumber piece, squish it down. There's number two. Spread, push down, move off to the side, grab the other one, spread, push down, and then you're good. So you're just going to repeat that until all the, the cream cheese mixture is gone, the cucumbers are all put together with the sandwiches, and then you're left with a very, very, very yummy, healthy snack. So please try it. I'm, I love this. It's like a piece of toast. So you put cucumber on a piece of toast. So if you like cucumbers separate, you like cream cheese, and you like bread, you'll like them all together. It's really good. So I hope you'll try this, and I will see you next week. So have a wonderful weekend.